All righty. Looks like we're finally going. We were just getting started, and it's things st I had technical difficulties. My my usual. Okay, now I can't get this to record, but that's okay if I can't. I hate this phone sometimes too. <laughs> okay, do we have sound? Nobody's here. Okay. All right. Uh, everybody's out there. Do I have sound, Joy? I don't know why it won't record. doesn't want to seem to let me record so that's fine here so I have sound okay because I think I have the all of the uh, the microphone stuff all straightened out from the other day when we were having difficulties all right whoops shush phone that's not what I want you to do okay I've had nothing with technical difficulties we are all great until I'm I there's a, some stuff that goes on behind the scenes that um, I can't seem to get synced up to to do right so hopefully it's it's going to be okay for today so <coughs> excuse me oh my goodness i just wish i could start one of these not completely stressed out this is you know i don't understand why it has to be giving me fits every single time but it is what it is i think mainly the big problem is is i need a new laptop so but that's gonna have to wait so um Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to be working on continuing just on from where we left off um, the other day, the last class on the um, flashback album. The video for this one will be available here on YouTube after um, class is over and it will also be posted in um, over on my website in the calendar and I'll eventually get it then into the archives as well. As well. So it'll be in both places so alrighty so I'm just gonna switch camera and we're gonna go ahead and get started since we're already starting 20 minutes late so uh, anyway um joy could you post over on paper doodles that we are actually um, working so um, now finally <laughs> All right, the one thing I did have done since the last um, class is um, I got these up the next day. I got these up on Saturday morning. These are the journal cards. I did post over on Paper Doodles, which is my private Facebook group. Um, but these are up in, um, these are part of the paper collection, Sky's the Limit, which is what we're using on this album. And so these are up in, um, on the website so, uh, up um, in the accounts of those who've ordered this paper you will have um, these journal cards there's three horizontal and three vertical uh, formatted and um, you'll need to print out to each of them for um, this album so um, I just want to make sure that those of you who have ordered this paper um, prior to Saturday. If you ordered it prior to Saturday, um, you can go back into your account and you'll be able to find these and download them. They're listed as the journal cards. If you've ordered it on Saturday beyond, it just was with the rest of your downloads. So, um, so I went ahead and those ones that um, hadn't gone in yet, I've gone ahead and put those in to this album. So I did the the little butterfly fairy on the front here as well as then the little unicorn um, is inside and then the other thing I did I was getting really annoyed by that little flappy um, dragonflies tush hanging over um, because of my boo-boo while we were doing it so he just lost his his butt basically I just I it was annoying me so I cut it off so 
he's just, but at least he, I didn't cut off his head. So, um, so then this butterfly with the gate is here. Um, and then the dragonflies with the architectural bit is there. And then the last two, when we get to this page, this one's going to go there. So I just stuck it inside the envelope for the moment. And this guy with the, the urns is going to go here. Now, and I, I left those because these do, these envelopes, the envelopes that I'm using are a little bit smaller than a 4 by 6 And I didn't want to make these the size to fit my envelopes because you may be using a different size envelope than I am. So I just have to trim a little bit on these to fit the envelopes that I am using. So, um, but anyway, from the, the get-go, I'm, I'm, I want to work on these, but I don't think we're going to work on the, the butterflies um, today. I want to just keep working on some of the papers <coughs> and stuff. So we might, what I'm thinking is on Friday, we're going to work on the butterflies and I think the cover. So I just want to continue on, on um, the papers and stuff. So first page, second page, and this one just ties close open, and this is the pocket. I had hoped to get some... Um, all the tags made last night, but I was uh, watching The Bachelor and the Bachelorette, I guess, um, instead with my daughter and husband. I usually watch upstairs, but we were all watching downstairs, and we don't do that that frequently with all of us. So um, this is that pocket, and then the flap with the pocket, the envelopes flap, and then this flap, and we put this guy in the back, and I'll, I'll probably do something on the cover of this and then so we can have photos inside. I, w I thought about using one of the journal cards, but I think I'm just going to put some one of the papers um, there. So then this guy just opens up so much better with that little thing because you always had to smooth them out. It was making me absolutely crazy. So, <laughs> um, so then this is a little pocket here as well. Um, there's the little butterfly girl. And this, this just needs a little strip of something along there. Um, Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Let's see what do we have to strip of something so I don't forget. I have all this in like a box lid, all the papers and stuff, and it's like it's it's bugging me right at the moment. So I think I'm gonna dump it all over the box lid. I do better with just having it on my desk surface here. All my little scrap -a doodles that I keep until the album's done and then I can toss them after it's all done. So that's all the little scrappy pieces. Find one and it works. What color do I want on that? Go with the perp now. No. Okay, I don't have them straightened up and organized here, so it's give me a sec here. Figure out what I got all is here. I don't really want to do the stripe. I don't think well maybe the stripe would be fine. You know me, I love this. I love a stripe. I don't know why. I just love a stripe. So maybe just about just a squidgy, squidgy under a quarter of an inch. Looks like is what it needs. You can absolutely fussy cut and add whatever elements you wish, Joy. You can either just do it really straightforward. I'm trying to do this one as straightforward as possible and not do a lot of fussy, fussy stuff because I tend to do a lot of the fussy, fussy stuff. So I'm trying to just do this more straightforward for people, this, this go around. I haven't been bored of stripes because I love stripes when I was quilting before I started paper crafting. And I love stripes and paper. So, Joy, it's been... 30 years, I don't think I'm getting tired of them. So <laughs> Joy wants me to get tired of my stripes because she's not a stripe person. So one thing, we do have a big 
big disagreement on. She hates stripes. I love it. Oh, Joy's wanting to do all sorts of little fussy, dusty little things. So cool. All right. So is this Tuesday? Is this a Tuesday morning? So is this a, a decent time for people? Because I'm, I'm thinking Tuesday. So, so Friday nights and Tuesdays are the days I'm thinking. Because I used to do Wednesdays and Sundays. Well, I did Friday nights forever. And I had a couple of people ask me to do that. Yeah, I like that. Um, a couple of people asked me to start doing Friday nights again. And so, um, <clears throat> this is a, oh, that's a, I was going to say, what is that with that? And that, this is where I added this piece on to. What all did I add it on? Oh, see, I added it on to these flaps right here. If you recall, I added these on last time so that there was pockets right here. So rather than turning this big thing into a pocket like I did on the previous page, I added this to make a pocket, and this then could be a flap. So then we got this out, and this needs a little strip there too. So let's do the same sort of thing um, on this one. So. Um, But yeah, so I, I'm and every I got a lot of really positive feedback about being back on Fridays. I think Fridays nights are work really well for people. I got I stopped doing it um, because uh, when Trevor was doing the hockey stuff, and then Sarah when he was in New Hampshire, um, Sarah and I were going to local hockey games. So once hockey season starts again in like October, September, October, we may revisit, but. It all depends on what, what's going to be going on by then. So, um, <coughs> so at least through the summer, Friday nights are a definite. Um, I'm not sure what's, um, this Friday night we'll do it, even though it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, we'll do a Friday night. Um, we're, we're going to go camping up in Canada here soon. So, um, I'll have to let you know when we determine exactly when we're doing that. So, um, as to what, what that night will be, but Friday nights, I think it's going to become my regular once again, it was for probably what, eight years. So, um, but then it's determining the other day, you know, I used to do Wednesdays and Fridays, but I was thinking, well, Tuesdays more halfway between Fridays. So I was thinking the Tuesday. So I just not sure um, when that works best. So right now for me, it is, it's just after 10 30 AM. Yes, Lois, you'll be in Ohio and that's, that's perfectly fine. All right, so then we, we made um, these little tabs to turn this into a pocket at the last class. And then I'm going to turn this section into a pocket so that this is a pocket behind here. So this flap just opens up into there. So I need to put some paper on here and then I'm going to do some little tabs like that on here so that then this is a flap with a pocket back behind it. So then we can paper right there. So let's do the inside here first. Let's see, does this See, look, this is the perfect size. So I think I'll go ahead and use that. Cause that were, and I like it with the green. So that works out perfect. Some things are just meant to be just the same width. This is another one. I could use either the smaller scale. What did I have? Just it's on there. No, okay. I just use that one on the flap of this one. So let's do this one instead. It's the same size. And it kind of has this same little bit of grunginess down here at the bottom. <coughs> I always 
Um, once again, apologize for the cough thing. I know a lot of people give me a, some comments about it. I always have this cough. It's because I have really bad sinuses and I have bad allergies going on right now. So that's why I cough. I don't have any sort of issues. It's all talking aggravates it. So other than crappy sinuses and uh, the... Uh, allergies. I, I'm not dying of anything else. So I appreciate people expressing concern. So I mean, this morning when I wasn't getting things to work, we almost were doing Wednesday. So I just don't know if Tuesdays or Wednesdays, or Wednesdays are better for people. So, All right, so then I need one here. Let's see. Which one we want to go with? She could fit there. She'd be kind of cute there. Because since this is a pocket, you know, I don't necessarily have to put something on there. Um, so let's leave her out. She's she's in the running. I'll do that section of that one. Do I have a piece of that one? No, I don't. So that's also in the running. I usually like to go through and use everything once before I go th through a second set. Okay, so let's, I think I like having this kind of thing there and then there's a spot there for the, the photo so let's go with this guy all these papers are in people's accounts and have been or for those who ordered this paper once it was available when i put it up the only thing it didn't have was the cards the journal cards everything else when it went up it was complete and i am trying to the the only reason it went up this time without the journal cards was because I had the deadline of National Scrapbook Day. Otherwise, it would not have gone up without the journal cards. I am no longer putting it up, any of the papers up without it, them being fully complete um, because I end up having to, to chase getting like journal cards or something done. So this one was kind of the last of the ones that did that. But if it is available in the shop, it is 100% ready to download. So, okay, then um, did you order this one, Lois? Because it should have been in there right after you ordered it. They have been available from the very beginning. I don't want to cut the, the wings off, so I'm going to make this a little bit shorter and just add a strip because I don't want to cut this dragonfly's wings off because that way I can use this piece for something else. So I'm cutting this one a little narrow and then I can add, I like this next to that edge, so then I can add something along here. Uh, maybe, I think I like the green and maybe we'll do, we'll punch, we'll punch it. So let me, um, because I've been doing a punched edged on, I'm going to do the same punch as I did here. So it's the same as kind of like this one. That's funny that I had to do that on that one too. Ha! Anyway, it's on the outside this time. 
So I'll do that edge out of this. If you don't find it in there, Lois, let me let me know afterwards and I'll check it for you. Yes, they're available indefinitely. I all of my paper collections from the very first one are still available um, on my website. Um, perhaps Joy can link you to this one specifically, but it is the latest paper collection. If you go to my website, Laura Dennison Designs, and go just click on shop. Don't click on the headings or, or anything under shop. Just click on shop, and the latest thing I put up will be um, come up first. And sky's the limit paper is the one, the last thing I put up, so it will come up first. Um, these are all digital papers. They are di delivered digitally, so that you can print at home, or <coughs> excuse me, you can take them home or take them to. Um, an office supply or someplace like that and have them printed. But these are all of my papers are digital. I don't have them printed. <coughs> that way you can print as many as you want or need for as long as you want or need them. I have almost 50 collections, paper collections now. We've suddenly had a lot of people coming back. I don't know if it's, I've been on YouTube live for well over a year now. So I don't know if it's just being back on YouTube or people are just, you know, cycling through. Cause I know a lot of, a lot of um, crafting gets cycled through, you know, it becomes popular and then life happens, which trust me, I totally know that one and you get away from it, but then you come back again. So welcome back to those of you who, are returning and um, welcome to if you're new and glad you're still here if you've been around for a while this is my 10th year and we are celebrating over the course of the next year um, of me being in paper crafting 10 years in in uh, 10 years last month so um, we are uh, celebrating all year long I'm going to be revisiting this was my first one is I was inspired by my flutter by butterfly album my very first tutorial that I put out inspired this the direction of this one and I will be revisiting some of my other older albums and re reimagining them in a fresh new look. So um, it's all delivered di digitally. If you can't um, download for some reason, you can contact me directly Judy and I uh, we can make some sort of arrangements but I typically don't put them on thumb drive and ship um, they're typically just delivered digitally or electronically but um, on a case-by-case -case basis I may be able to help you out but I typically don't have them available on a thumb drive you would have to download them and put them onto a thumb drive which you can do All right, so I'm just going to take this, and this was the garden rail, Martha Stewart garden rail that we've been using on this project. Just create an edge for that paper, and that kind of ties in the green and the green. It looks good against the black. So I just trimmed it a little bit narrower so that I didn't cut off something on the rest of the paper and it gave me a design opportunity to make it even prettier. And this is, there's plenty of space here for a smaller, narrow, 
you know, vertical formatted um, photo. So I need to dampen my water or my jar that I put my glue in. Try not to make it float like it did last time. find the butt border punches so much easier. I know they're not in favor right now. Everybody's into the dies, but who knows? Punches may be back, coming back depending on how all these lawsuits about the dies come out, but it just is too much production for me to get out my machine and stuff. It's just so much easier just to have this to do these rather than having to get my die cutter and my dies and the platforms and uh, it's just more work than I want to do. So, all right. So then now I'm ready to be able to attach this down. So I'm going to make some little tab guys like these. Um, I can just do a single one here at the top and that's going to turn this into a pocket. Yeah. Things, you know, if I had something skinny, it could go out that way. But for the most part, I'm just going to be putting tags in there. Um, so I'm going to just do the tabs at the top and bottom. I can add the tabs and then I can actually glue it if I want to do since it's such a tall one. Um, but I do like the idea of putting the tab on there, even if it tends to be a little bit just on the decorative side. So, <coughs> And see, this tab was made actually from this part. It's from down on this lower part, but I don't want to cut it off of here. So I'm just going to use something else, a different paper for that one. I have all these little, see I have a ton of little scrappy pieces, so find one that will work. Oh, see, like this little thing here. I like this. So I can cut this in half. This is like Oh, it's just over an inch, so it'll be a little bit more than a half inch wide, which but which works out perfectly. And it looks like I did like three quarters. So I'm gonna cut this like an inch and a half. I think that looks like is that an inch long? That is an inch. Okay, so I'll cut a two inch piece of this one. And then I can just cut it in half. and then I probably won't round this one. So I can just fold it in half. I don't have to score it. I keep all these little scraps until the, once the album is completed and I I don't need any more scraps for this, I then they go in my recycle. I mean, some people may go ahead and keep them for other things, but I have enough pack rotted stuff around here and the other beauty is uh, with these if I need something I can always print this print another sheet Let's see how much would my rounding it cut off of that I don't want to cut off too much of that pattern Oops. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and round it. it doesn't cut off that much That works. Okay. Yeah, I agree. That's the other thing when you're using the the dies to cut things like a strip like this. I mean, for a shape, absolutely the dies are wonderful, but for doing edging and stuff, it, it is a little bit more paper intensive. And there's a little bit more waste. I will agree on that. I guess I only needed half an inch, half an inch, right? Not an inch for my tab on the inside, so I can trim that off. I could have just cut these an inch and a half and just did a half inch tab. Okay, brain was not fully engaged, so. <laughs> All 
Yeah, I have miseritis. I agree, Joy. All right, so lift this up. Let's set that down. So then I can, oh, I didn't punch my little hole. I have that weird thing that I like to do those little holes too. Oh, this thing is stiff. It's got, I did some sort of adhesive. And it's gotten it all gooey down in there. So if I use hand sanitizer, it has alcohol in it. And it's down in those holes. Whoops, down in the hole. Down that hole. It'll evaporate too, for the most part. Grab a paper towel. But that'll clean some of the, the sticky stuff off. There, see, now it's easy. It was all gummed up. But alcohol wipes also work. But the hand sanitizer has um, the alcohol in it. So I'll just punch a bunch of holes, wipe all the excess off. You let it sit for 10 minutes or so, all of the um, hand sanitizer stuff will evaporate too. But now it's moving perfectly. So quick and easy tip, if you don't have alcohol wipes, the uh, hand sanitizer works great. Pip towel out now. Quick tip. So all cleaned out, all the gummies gone. And it's now there's no bacterial stuff on it either. <coughs> Well, it's so funny is, is I used to keep like all my little scrap stuff when I was quilting and stuff, because I used to do, um, these little, um, I called them itsy bitsy quilts. They were about four by six. Cause then I would use them on cards. Um, so I would keep all my scraps and I taught a class on that and stuff. And I would take this, I had this, you know, um, you know, those plastic bags that you're like, when you buy a comforter, it comes in. I had one of those for a king size, um, uh, comforter and it was completely filled with scraps and I would take that to my classes and stuff and I came across that when I was cleaning out my closet for my husband to be able to do the floor and um so that's hooked down uh and I came across that and I'm like going okay I haven't touched this bag of scraps in 10 years I'm not keeping it any longer. I'm not teaching that class any longer. I don't need this anymore. So, um, I, you know, and I started becoming that way about projects is, you know, I, I keep usually keep projects under the, that are I'm working on either in a basket or a box or in the Ziploc bags that I send my kits in. Um, and it keeps everything all contained, but once the album or the project is complete and I don't need the scraps anymore, they go in the recycling. There's no, and you know, some of the big ones I'm, if I really like the paper, I might think about hanging on to it, but I also find a couple of years later, I think I needed to keep it, but then I just have drawers full of some of that kind of paper. And it's like, you know what? I don't need it. <laughs> so, all right. So that's now made that into a pocket that I can have tags in. Yes, like I said, it pops out on those corners, but if you don't like that, you could always, before you attach these down, um, you can glue those edges. I personally don't have a problem with it doing that. So, all right, so then we just need to put paper on here and we need to do our little accent strip. Most of the accent strips on this one, I did blue. What did I do on this other side? This one has blue. This one had all pink, so maybe I'll just continue with the uh, the blue just for um, Lois. So I have this strip. I'm just going to trim it down narrower rather than cutting a whole new strip and all that miser thing.
And these are about an eighth of an inch wide. It's been so much fun. I've been working on a, one of my th the 3D projects we have coming up. I've been working on the sample for that, and it's like, oh, I'm having so much fun doing the 3D, and then I get to work on this, so it's they're both fun. But I'm looking forward to doing some 3D. And then we also have a paper applique project coming up as well. So good stuff coming up. It's good to get kind of back into the... Um, Oh, and it's not really routine, but getting back into the schedule, a regular schedule of the shows again. I didn't want to cancel this morning, but it was looking like that when I couldn't get the broadcaster to work, but it finally decided to cooperate. So I was glad. See, I, I think, you know, you could leave these kind of little channel pieces, you know, alone. But I personally like putting the little, this is those little details that, as I've said for a million years now, the little details take it out of the homemade and into the handcrafted feel. And so it, I personally find doing all those little details, I find that it is, for me, relaxing. But I also, I think it just adds that little... All the little details just add that little bit of extra element to things. So, all right, let's see what we've got to go there. Maybe some of this, since it, there's going to be tags in there, I don't need it to be something real busy. Do I like that one? I kind of like the dark. It kind of picks up the dark here. And then the tags would really pop rather, you know, see the light or the dark. I like the dark. Mm -hmm. oh, the green's okay. Okay, Lois will like this one. Oh, I think I like the dark. So if I do... He says she'd never get a striped cat. Well, yeah, their stripes aren't really super striped. We have the two. We have the brother and the sister. The the, the um, Pepper, the little girl, is a uh, long hair, so it's not as obvious. But Tigger, and Tigger's got what we call dreads right now. He's the one that's going outside and has been bringing garter snakes in. He's brought in five so far. And he still lives. And he's still allowed in the house. But we just keep an eye on him. But he... um. He goes and rolls around outside. He he's just he loves it. But so he all his the hair on his fur on his back is all kind of clumped and it kind of goes up in spikes on his back. So we call him his dreads. So he's so funny. He loves going outside though. Oh, I just and he won't leave the yard. He never leaves the yard. He's too big and fat to go. I don't think he could, unless he was being chased by something, um, I don't think he could get up and over the fence without incentive. <laughs> so, and he has no desire to leave the backyard. He just loves going up on the back hill, hangs out with the snakes, which isn't my favorite part, but all right. So then that has the pocket here and the pocket here. So that's all ready for the tags to go. So now we'll move on to this page and... We'll be ready to put on our um, 
journal card. So this is four by six and I see on this one I need to trim off about half an inch and what I'm doing is I'm going to trim that off and then the tag that's going to go inside and see and it's a little bit narrow so I can move it to one side or the other, center it, leave the quarter inch border on each side or I can add something to that. I probably am just going to leave it because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off of this but on the tag itself, let me move that down a little. On the tag itself, I'm going to put this on the top of the tag so it, it's as if it continues on. Well, the snakes aren't in necessarily, I never go down other than uh, off of our, either our deck. We have a deck and then we have a concrete pad that we have the fire pit on. But I don't go out into the grass. And the snakes are, and then, so we have a big grass area and then we go up a hill and then we have a fence at the top of the hill and then there's the road on the other side of the fence. And on the hillside in this one spot where there's a bunch of rock from when Rich had done some yard in the back, some work in the back and we are, we're on glacial stuff. <laughs> um, our dirt is very, very, you know, he was having to dig and he was finding big rocks and stuff. So we have a lot of rocks in our dirt because you know, this used to be a, a glacier here in Maple Valley and he um, put them kind of in a pile. Well, that's where the snakes all hang out. I mean, they're just little garter snakes. Creep me out completely, but they still are just little garter snakes. And so, um, and Tigger just thinks he's such a mighty hunter with those. So, all right, so we've got that guy. So this is going to go here. Let me go ahead and cut my tag that's going to go in there so that um, you can see what I'm talking I'm just going to cut a black tag for in there. Find out what I did with that black tag. Well, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll do a colored one. I think I want to do all my tags in black on this one. All right, so this is four inches wide, so I'm going to cut my tag four and a quarter by. Um, let's do six and a quarter. So so the right amount pops out. So that way I see my tag will fit right in there. And so I'm going to have that on there. And then this part that I cut off will be up here on the tag. So it's like a continuation of it. I am I am a true Alaska girl. I agree. I'm not a, a reptile person at all, even a little bit, not slightly. I'm a true Alaska girl. We don't have snakes up there. So having these little snakes... So far, he's only brought, he's brought four of them in downstairs, but he brought one up here to right outside my studio door. That one was the one that totally freaked me out. <laughs> so, um, uh, fortunately, Sarah's not as freaked out by the snakes as I am. She's freaked out by spiders and spiders don't bother me. So, um, I take care of spiders and she helps me take care of snakes. It also is a very, very, very handy, handy thing to have. I want some color on the sides. Is to have um, uh, goalie sticks or hockey sticks in the house. Makes it, um, I like that little bit of frame. Um, having the, the handy hockey sticks so I can be at quite a distance back from said snake and lift him up and in, into a tub for him to be um, freed again back outside. So, um, but you know, he just thinks he's bringing mommy a present. 
So it's like, yeah, um, no, thank you, but no thank you. So we're just watching him a lot more carefully. He hasn't brought one in in quite some time because he's he's being watched when he goes outside. But I don't have the heart to not let him go outside. So. Oh, well, Joy, I get creeped out. When I've been to Hawaii in years past, your bugs can, like, carry you away. They're so huge there. I totally get creeped out by the critters in Hawaii because, God, they're all just huge. <laughs> okay, so I just cut some little strips because I want to frame this around this light color against the craft. So, oops. No, don't fall. Okay. I thought it was going to flip over on me. So, come about an inch up off the bottom. See, this is why I keep all those little little scraps because I do fussy little stuff like this. Oh, Florida has some big old nasty stuff. Just when we went to Disney World that one time, just walking back and forth from the pool, and you've got these little lizard things go shooting across and running up and over your foot, and I'd be just totally creeped out. <laughs> yeah. I always said, I'd rather see a bear than a big old snake. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right, see, so, and so then my tag going in there and it lines up with the edge, but see that does then get just gives it a continuous thing. I have one of them back here further too. I'm gonna go through and make some closures and stuff for all these flaps so they don't go flopping. See, like I kept this one because it will also get the same sort of thing. Is I'll put that on there. So it gets that, whoops, yeah, you can see that. Since I have this already, let's go ahead and put that on there. But I just stuck it into the pocket for the time being. But now that I have an extra tag, good, good to go in there. I'll go ahead and get it glued on so I don't lose it. Um, also, on this paper collection, for those of you who are, um, I do have some of my papers on sale, um, and this paper collection is on as is, is still at the um, discount, the, the um, National Scrapbook Day discount, and it'll be on that discount until we finish this album here on, finish working what we're going to work on here on YouTube. So, um, so that adds that little strip there. So. We're still going to do a couple more classes because we still have the, I want to do a little bit more on this. So Friday, as I said, we're going to work on the butterfly and the cover. And I think then next week we will work on the box. So next Tuesday we'll work on the box and then we'll be ready to start the next project. Um, so I will probably try most more often to start projects on Fridays and we'll just continue to work on them on um, on the Tuesdays classes. So, all right, so we can now start working on, oh, here, let's do this one on the inside too. And then we can work on doing the rest of it again. Now this one, I just need to trim off period. 
because this is open from up here. So I either am going to trim off this end and lose my stripe, or I like the stripe on there, and I'll trim off this end. And then I have this little piece to use for something else. So I can take my pencil. I don't know why I lose everything underneath. Okay, where? Oh, it might. If it's a good thing it wasn't a snake, it probably would have bitten me. So, so we can mark where I need to trim that off. Joy is suggesting I lose the stripe. But see, this is a nice little accent -y piece. So keep that. You never know when you might want a little something, something for that. So Joy, since every, pretty much every collection I've, I've ever made has a stripe in it because I like it for that graphic accent, I, do you just not print those out? <laughs> All right, so let's decide what we're going to have. One of the larger papers. Um, let me see. What have I used on? So I've used the urns. And I used that one because we're on page three right now. We could use the butterfly, the butterfly, the, um, the cute little um, fairy girl because that cuts that off right about there. So that would be a cool leftover piece. I kind of like that. Works well with this one. Okay, let's use this guy. Now, one of the things I've, I've done with many of my albums, and specifically I did intentionally on this one, my pages are 10 and a quarter inches tall cut so that my papers, which are a usable area of 10 inches, you know, eight by 10 fit perfectly. And so I'm not having to like trim off a bit because that's what, when you have 12 by 12 papers, it's like, Oh, which part do I want to cut off? So, um, as I talked about, one of the things I'm looking at potentially doing is doing some eight and a half by 14, which is legal size. Um, some of my papers eight and a half by 14. Um, cause most home printers, can do a legal size. And so that would give you some longer sections for those of you who missed the 12 by 12. My papers are all printable on eight and a half by 11. They do have a white border on them because of the eight by 10 usable area. And that's very specific because not many people have printers that A can print to the edge, nor do they have large format printers. So. I do it so that the majority of you can print on your home printers. I never use a whole stripe page by itself either, Joy, so I prefer it just as little accent strips the way I use it. So it's almost more like a check. If, if it helps you, Joy, it almost feels like a check. But I like having kind of the vintagey, grungy, shabby kind of look to the papers and then have that accent um, of that those graphic type things to go along with it so it kind of gives a counterpoint accent kind of thing so i marked it but where does it mark where's my little tick mark where did it kind of oh there it is See, and then this is a good piece to use on, on like some place like this. And see, that would be a perfect. So keeping that part. 
So I'll just call them checks instead of stripes. For, so if I say check and you're like going, um, if that's a stripe, that's to keep Joy from getting mad at me. <laughs> All right, so she looks really cute there. So this kind of, this um, similar gait kind of um, ties in there. Because if I didn't want that right next to that one, I could also tape, switch it over. Also, oh, because see, there's the other half of the gate there, is here. Let's see, so I could do that, this one inside here. But I don't want to go that long. So I'll just keep it here. Now one thing to check and make sure I like how that looks. Hmm. Well, that's not really working for me too much. This is kind of pinkish. This is greenish and that's bluish. So it's like, maybe I will save this one and put this one on the other side here, back behind here. So let me look at for a look at a different one for there. Mind change. I wonder about doing, he's going to go on my cover too. So, but the beauty of the digital is I can print as many as I want. What if I do him? Cause it would just cut off a little bit of his tail or I could cut him and then cut a little off here. You could kind of find a centering. Cause then you could have a photo to where it's a photo that's going right there. I think I like that better. Yeah, I like that better. Let's go with this one instead. And like I said, the beauty of the digital is like, okay, I don't have to be a miser. It's like, okay, I don't have to save this one because I'm using this on my, my cover. I can, uh, or on the box. Um, I can just print more. Joy has posted a link to this paper collection, Sky's the Limit, on my website. Thank you, Joy. She probably posted that out a few minutes ago, but I hadn't noticed just yet. So, Alrighty, so if I want to have this kind of centered -y. I'm going to cut an inch off of the one side and then I can mark for this other side. So it's going to end up cutting about an inch off of each side. It looks like, yeah, it's an inch off of each side. Then. So I'll be able to save these and use these, some little accents or something. And then when this closes, see that that's that. See, I like how that looks. That that's brings me much more joy. So. Now this album itself is a free pattern or a free tutorial that there's a supply list and cutting guide available on the blog on my website www.lauradenisondesigns.com if you go to the blog the last blog post 
And if you see where it says supply list and cutting guide and it's in a different color, click on it and it links you to the PDF for you to download the supply list and cutting guide. And then there is a video for the binding system. This is a new binding system that I developed um, called under accordion. Someone's kitchen that doesn't want to. Um, but it's called under accordion. And it's um, so there's a the that part. So and then there's there's uh, part two is page A. There's two different pages in this one. Um, hard to tell because by the time you mount them, it looks like I've got all sorts of different pages. But so you have the binding is part one, part two is page A, part three is page B. Um, and then we've got part um, four was National Scrapbook Day when we were embellishing pages. Part, part five was last Friday and today's is part six. And those are all available um, on my YouTube channel, um, uh, publicly available for you to view. I also, after the show, um, link those videos so you can go to the calendar on my website. And under the date of the class, you can click on that and the videos from that date are there. And then um, I will also be putting them in the archives under a flashback album. Now that for those of you who haven't been here, I also am using in this page two, I'm using um, the butterfly templates that are from my uh, Flutterby album. These are not included in part of the cutting guide and supply list. If you can do these just a plain flap, but they don't have to have the butterfly on it. Um, and they'll have tags that we're going to embellish on these. Um, these are from that original Flutterby album. Here's one of them. Um, and that was kind of the inspiration for this this project. So we're going to be embellishing um, the tags that go in the butterfly wings um, as well. Um, but that was the inspiration that I drew from because this was my very first tutorial. Um, so this tutorial is available. It's still at a discounted price if you want to do the butterflies. Um, but because people have been purchasing this one for quite a few years, I didn't feel it was fair to give this away when people have purchased it. So that is available, but at a discounted price. So, all righty. Finishes up my ad for today. All right, so again, so see, I can start digging around in these little scraps and bits for like, okay, what can I put? here like that one go and then I could put a little I have some little see a little stripe piece there and then up here but once this comes out of there you know maybe put a little something something there so that's you know that's how I use up some of these little scrapple pieces I like that one that one fits there perfectly And then I can just maybe do a little bit wider stripe. See, I have this little excess stripe here. So maybe we'll use these little piece bits instead of this dark one, this little accent, because then I can do that same little accent up there. That'll work. Let's see what all I got. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so how? So if I cut right out of that stripe. I like the blue stripe better, so I'll cut the purple stripe off. So that's there. If I 
cut a half inch piece. So right there. And then how much do I need for up here at the top? Five eighths up there. So that covers that kind of whole band. Where are we at for time? Okay. I'm not done yet there, Missy. Joy hates stripes, but loves polka dots. And Lois loves any kind of blue. Patience, dear. Patience. There's a lot of blue in this album for you, sweetie. <laughs> She's waiting to where I do an entire blue collection. I can't see the top of that. I'm sorry. There we go. I have to keep moving it out of the way so I can work in front of me. See, if I put a little doodad there, too, then I can cut that kind of squarish. See, and then this little dragonfly and this little dragonfly look like they're kind of going in the same way. Okay, so then I can put something here. Actually, that whole thing can go where I can do that. Maybe that one go on. goes in here. I can use this guy down here. I don't like that. Okay, so let's take a mark where that needs to go. So I can put this guy back in here now that I get that on there. And then this is also a little pocket right here where I can have a small tag going into that little pocket guy. I love having all the little nooks and crannies and pockets for stuff to go in. So then we can go ahead on, a, on the inside. I do want to work on this part next and that because we can do this flap much the same way as we did on page one. 
So we've got that one that I have tied down. It's done the same way um, as page one. We can do this one. I can make this a flap, which I might do on this one. Since I turned this into a pocket on the first one with a flap, I might make this a flap that goes, so it's got a, a double flap and then have some sort of closure here on this page so that it's different from the first page. And we, we, we may work on that, but I did want to look at with this, if this is, has these little coin envelopes for tags to go in and then it's a pocket here and it's a pocket here with the coin envelopes. And so they're kind of dividing the pocket here and here. So, and then the coin envelopes are pockets as well. So we can do something um, with those. This would look really cool going down the coin envelope. I definitely like that one. Let's go ahead and trim this up. I should have I should have gotten these all trimmed up before I started the, the class. Typically when I'm starting a project, I go through and trim all my papers. But I didn't. So that's something you can sit and trim all these while you're like watching TV or something like that. Hey, where did that go? Okay, so if I cut this three and a quarter wide. Cut it at the edge of the stuff and then I can flip it over and trim it from the other side too so that it's centered then. And then I want the flowers more at this end, so I can I'm gonna trim like a quarter of an inch off this end. So that looks very nice. Now I trimmed it to where it was an eighth of an inch in from that edge. So I like how that looks. And I'm going to put blue inside of here just specifically for Miss Lewis. And then we're going to do the flap on the envelope. And I'm going to do it exactly the way I did a million years ago on that very first envelope album. The video is still here on YouTube. Long, I think it was a long envelope album or something like that but you attach the paper to this and it tucks down inside and there's a fold but you don't attach it down inside so that it can flex with this and so it folds up easier. That's the way I've been doing it. I'll see then I can use this piece. I can actually use that if I wanted to on the flap. I could actually put that on the inside. I actually think I like that on the outside of the flap because then I'm going to do some sort of closure there. That works nicely for that. I like it. Let's do that. Okay, so if I do that. Okay. 
Let's trim that up. Makes it nice and continuous. And I, but I need to trim it to the shape a little bit. So just mark, tick mark. Using those lines, cut it to that little angle. So now that fits on there perfectly. Well, it was one of the early videos, Joy, so it's at least nine or ten years ago. Feels like a whole other lifetime. All right, so that's perfect, and then I'm going to have a little closure that I'll put there, whether it's a tie or something, but I want to do the inside. So the height of this, if I cut a one inch plus about three quarters, so one and three quarters of an inch by the width of this, so three and a quarter. Okay, so then I'm going to score it at one inch from the one inch. My name's Pepper. I know. Hi, how are you? So I can tuck that down inside, aligning the fold. So then on this back side, I'm going to mark. How I want that. So I'm going to cut that just slightly inside that line. So again, tucking that, lining it up against the fold. So then I can attach it to the flap, but I'm not gonna, this section right here, it's gonna stay loose in there. If I glued them both down, it would not wanna fold as easily. But if you had this in your, in front of you, you would see as you fold it, this, this section here slides in and out just slightly. And if it's attached, it doesn't want to fold as well because you have this attached here and it's a tiny little distance, but it's just enough that it wants to move. So um, you don't want to attach it inside and it's not going to impact anything um, in terms of getting stuff in and out of the envelope. It won't pop out or anything. It just helps it to be able to close easier. So slip that in, center it, close it to get it attached, and then, and you will see that when you've actually made this, you will see that this little piece does slide in and out, but it closes. If I had it glued on both sides, it would be really hard to fold it and it wouldn't want to stay closed. So this will allow it to be closed, and then I'll put a little closure on that. And it'll be cool. So then I'll cover over this, this back of this here, a little bit here. Now this is a pass-through pocket so that I can have a tag that goes through. Oops. 
do blue there. Joy's going, yes, 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 blue. Or Lois is going, yes, 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 blue. Joy's going, no, I want a stripe there. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Is this long enough to do? Try to find something that oh, that oh see that would work there. Oh, I want my my cathedral standing up, so that might not be a good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think I, before I decide here, I want to decide what's here and here. Actually, that one might be kind of cool. That's a really good possibility. Well, I'm thinking I want to kind of more background because I like this how this looks and I want it to not kind of overpower. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Cut it to four inches and it's right in half. Trim it up first. What's in my James Joy? I think I'll make the tag that slides through here have blue on it. How's that for you there, Miss Lois? All right, so up above, <clears throat> since this will have a tag in the front of it, you know, I just don't want to use up too much of the, the fancier paper. That's why I have so many background ones in here. Where's my tick mark? There it is. So this goes up above. This goes down below. And then I have this piece still left for something else. Oh, okay. I missed, sometimes I miss whole sections of the conversation. Because <laughs> there was some discussion about the stripes and my dreams and Joy's nightmares. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Also, for those of you who haven't been around for a while, all of my videos from all of my past YouTube Live and Ustream broadcasts 
are still available to view on my website and they are free. You know, I don't charge you any sort of subscription to view those. So if you haven't been around for a while, you can go check out all of those. There are some that were in the calendar and the calendar program I was using updated and I lost all of them for you to view on the calendar itself prior to this year. Um, but they are listed there. There's a link there listing all of them that will link you to all of those videos that haven't been put down into the, um, the uh, archive section yet. So not all of them are down in the archives. You can look both in the calendar and in the archives. Tucker, why are you barking? All right, so that'll be all set for a cute little blue tag then that will fit in there. So I just need to put a little something something there, maybe some some place to put a little bit of color. Maybe the green, since the tag will be blue, I'll put a little green right there. Like that, or it could be. Oh, I like that little flower guy right there. I don't think it competes too much with that one. Mm -hmm. Kind of like those little guy, little butterflies flying there too. And I have a little pink accent. I think that's the one I like. I like that guy. And then a little pink accent to go with it. Well, I also um, just need to move all those videos down into the archives. Um, a lot of them are. I just have about a nine-month period where I was just putting them in the, because um, of craziness and time and stuff, I was just putting them in just in the calendar with the intention of putting them in the archives as well. And then I started doing it to where when I would put them up, I would put them in both places. But I uh, had about a nine-month period where I wasn't. So um, some of the most recent ones are in both. Um, but there's about a nine-month period of them where they weren't. And I just haven't had a chance. I'm still working diligently along trying to get everybody's accounts back up to speed from when my website crashed a year and a half ago. <laughs> um that was an awful lot of videos that I had to, or not awful lot of um, uh, orders that I had to attach directly to um, people's one at a time to everybody's accounts, and so it's still, it's still a work in progress. It's it's very time consuming. It takes three or four minutes per order. Um, and there were 11,000 orders that had to be attached back to accounts. And I also don't attach them until um, some of them, until people have um, either updated their, their um, password by going in 
for the if it's the first time that since September 2017 that they've gone in um, to see if their account is still available in there. And if their account is not available, I have to set up a new account. So I, until I hear from people who need a new account set up, I I can't attach them because otherwise they can't access their account. So it gets it's just it's complicated. All right, so that's good to go on this side. So I like how these little butterflies flying there. So, all right, so then we can do the same sort of thing on this other side. And again, this is a pass through pocket. So we can put a paper here, paper here. We can do the same sort of thing um, to the um, envelope. So I wanted to do that envelope, um, but I wanted to stay in. Oh, where are we at for time? We've got a few minutes. Let's go ahead and finish up the back side of this. So then off, off camera and stuff, I'll work on this one. So and maybe try to get the other side of this done so that then we can just keep moving forward um, at the next class. But I think for the time we have, um, if we go ahead and do this little piece, this guy here in the background. So um, and the the um, Oh, this is the back. I can put something on the back side of this tag if I choose to, because it shows. But that's the back of that tag. So I just need to do this strip in this section here. And this is where keeping some of these little strips and stuff um, comes in handy. So those can go, I can have a little excess strip, or I can have that here. Maybe that pink, or just because it annoys Joy, I can have you know stripe along there. <laughs> um, but that's where these kind of little pieces come in handy. Even this piece can go on there. What else we got sitting here? What other goodies? that one and that's at the same height of this so I could have a little accent -y piece right there kind of like that but let's see what we're gonna put here and if I'm thinking of putting this here and I don't want that there You can also do a bright punch of pink. Or if I decide I want to do this, put the pink there. The pink, oh, I like that. Let's do that. Okay, so this guy's going to go right here, and he needs to be trimmed down about a little, a little over an eighth of an inch. Let's get that there. So that's going to go right there. And then I'll do pink on this guy. So and then I don't have to do a PC thing. <laughs> I'm always piecing together bits and pieces. I'm such a miser. It's, you know, it's so funny. Got the butterfly thing there. Yeah. See, I could see like these little guys right here. I could print another one of these cards and fussy cut those and make those 3D. It would also be cool to print this card onto vellum and cut those out of the vellum and, and glue those in. These are little chicadas. Um, and that would be really cute to go there as well. If you want to give a little 3D pop there. Maybe I'll print that out on vellum for next class to do that. I can remember to remember to do that. <laughs> yeah, see, I like that punch of that pink right there. Bam! 
kind of a magenta color. What is it that you knew, Joy? But see, this is also a little pocket, so having this, you know, and then I have a little tiny tag on top of it. I will try before Friday to go through and get all the little tags and stuff all cut. I'm going to take some of this little bit and I've got my little butterfly punch that I used earlier. Well, the bottom one I'm going to put right at the center. These gradually get lighter as they go up because of the way the paper was. So this tag just has it and then you know your photo goes on there. So just having that little accent. Let's let this guy back in here. So I'm that little stripe ties in with the stripe here. That's the reason I did the stripe there. Not just to annoy Joy. Okay, so I want to put a little accent guy right there. I think maybe on this one I'll do the green.
I just wanted to put my little accent strip on that little channel piece. Then that can flip closed. So I like how those two facing each other work. And then, as I said, I'll be going through and working on doing some closures on here as well. Um, and we'll just keep on working on this one for a while. Um, I also, one of the things I've been thinking about doing is there may be just, because I have a project to coming up that I don't, it's one of those that, that are like this, that I, I think people enjoy seeing the, kind of got dark in all of a sudden. Um, clouds came in. Um, people enjoy seeing me kind of completing pages in the book and stuff. And I have a book coming up that I want to do my, um, oh, what did I call it? Um, I don't have the, the, the pattern done for it. It's a new one. It's kind of what kind of pulled me out of my, my doldrums back in January I was working on the paper for it. Um, and I think I want to work on it. So it may be just, I might just have random days. Um, specific projects would be on like the Tuesdays and Fridays, but I may be just on a day when I want to work on it and it may not even be necessarily um, scheduled, but you know, maybe announce an hour beforehand or something um, that I'm working on it and I'll just work on it live. It'll be more me just working in a chat. Um, so, and, and so I'm, I may finish this one that way, and then we can move on from that one. Um, and the, the one that I want to work on is, I haven't done much on it, is this, um, this one. <coughs> I've shown some pages of it and stuff, um, with this fun binding, and it's got little, um, signatures in it. I, I, I'm trying to remember what I called it, but it's got, it's got, it's a much more mixed media. It's got these canvas things for the pages to attach. I've done some stitching on it, but I need to start putting the papers and stuff in this one. And so I'm thinking this one be, would be a good one, um, to do, um, on YouTube's just the embellishing of it. I, I still have to write the pattern and do the construction videos for it. But I think this is be another one that would be fun to work on, um, on the live show, but it's not part of the regular Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Friday schedule. And that one would just kind of come up at random, random times, kind of, a, yeah, like a pop-up live show. Exactly. Christine. So, and that way I can t finish this one in its entirety without using up the time, which is also the thing with some of these that don't get completed is people are ready to move on to another project, but I don't necessarily have this one completed yet. So, um, but we'll, we'll, um, look, look at the potential of doing that. I'll, I'll talk to, um, I'll think about it and talk to joy a little bit and see what I want to do in regards, um, to that. But, you know, we're, we're coming right along on this one. So, um, I'm pleased with it. So see how these have this on this page, it has the pocket with the flap. When I move to this page, I'm going to, rather than turning this into a pocket, I'm going to leave these both flaps, but have the white, the taller flap on, t on front. So, um, it'll be different than this page. It'll, you know, it's the same construction. It's just whether you glue it down as pockets or not. And then I'll get the, the tag that goes in this one and I'll put some pattern paper. Maybe that's where this guy, see that would go really well right there. So I think that's where I'll end up putting him. So I'm going to leave that in here and I, I'll come up with a closure because that one keeps flopping. So I'll come up with a closure for that. All these other ones need some tags inside and some closures because they do that. So then this gets some tags. I'll get one of these butterflies embellished as well. And more tags. That needs a closure as well. So does that one. <laughs> and then 
we've got that guy. And then we're into this one. So this is page three. So we're, this is about, this is dead center of the book. And then we move on to another one of the butterfly pages. And then this last page. And I still have to fix this one because I made it too tall and then attach it to the tabs. So. Well, I, and I hope, um, I hope Karen that, that that's true for everybody. You might just learned a little tips and tricks here and there. Um, if nothing else, you learn how to miser out a little bits and pieces of stuff. So, um, but in the next class, I think what I want to work on is decorating one of the butterflies and we'll work on the covers. So that's what I think we're going to do, um, this Friday. And then, um, I want to work on the box probably the following Tuesday. And then in terms of completing the other, it might be just part of those random classes when I feel like working on it some afternoon, maybe those are like on a, you know, a Thursday afternoon or something like that. Or if I'm home on a Sunday, a Sunday afternoon, um, but they may not have a lot of warning or I might just decide to work on it and I'll just go on live and you'll get an announcement. If you, if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should receive um, when you turn your uh, alerts on for it, you should receive an alert that when I am broadcasting. So, so as always, thank you to Joy and to Lois for helping me out by moderating for me. So far since we've been on YouTube Live, the number of trolls have been pretty few and far between, at least the ones that announce themselves. So, um, we haven't had too much trouble, so they, but they do help me out a lot by posting links and answering questions and that sort of thing. And, um, I just want them both to know how much they are greatly appreciated in all that they do to help things run smoothly. Now, hopefully we now have the sound situation all taken care of. So we don't have those issues like we did last class and, um, and hopefully we'll get this other figured out so that we can get started on time. So I'm not having technical difficulties right before the show starts. So, um, but we will be back again then on, on Friday evening. Um, and it's at five o'clock to seven o'clock on Pacific time, which puts it at, um, eight to, uh, 10, Eastern Central will be seven to nine and six to um, eight Mountain and everything else. There are plenty on, if you just Google um, time converter, there's all sorts of time converters that you can put in your time zone and um, it will let you know put in the Pacific time that you want and it'll tell you what time it is in your time zone. So, but anyway, that's uh, where we're at so far on this. And again, I thank you for coming and joining me in my studio and uh, help, helping me work on this album. As I said, once this one's um, completed, we do have a, a, the last of the angels of the elements, the water angel will get her completed. That'll just be a quick two class turnaround. And then we're ready to work on a 3d project. So I feel like I'm coming out of the fog and ready to start really moving forward. And, uh, we're getting there. I'm plugging away at other things as well behind the scenes. All of a sudden it's going to look like a whole bunch of spurt of activity, but it's stuff that's been going on for quite some time. So I'm excited looking forward and getting things moving, um, in a much more positive direction for the rest of 2019. So thank you all so much for joining me here in my studio and we will see you on Friday. So peace out. Love you guys all bunches. Bye for now.